Hi, this is an overview of how to use Greenlight, which is an application to give you personalized rooms for using BigBlueButton directly. So you can create your own rooms, invite people into them, manage the recordings. I'll start by logging in, and I'm going to log in with my Google account. Greenlight will redirect me to Google. I will, I've already logged into Google, so I don't have to enter my password. Here it shows me my room, and I've had 22 sessions so far. I have had two recordings. The recordings are below, and I'll talk about those in a moment. The key part here is this URL. This is my personal URL, which I can use for inviting anybody into a session and quickly and easily collaborate with them using BigBlueButton. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to bring it over to the browser window, and I'm going to paste that URL in. So this is now as if I was receiving this, and I want to join Fred's room. Let's say my name is Richard. And I click Join. So Greenlight here automatically detects that Fred has not started the room yet. And we can see that if we go back here. So I'm going to move these side by side. And this is just waiting for Fred to start the room. So I'm going to click Start. Big Blue button will start up here. And any users who are idling, waiting for the meeting to start, will automatically be brought in. OK. So I'm going to come in. I'm going to join the audio. And I'm going to say hi. I can hear myself in the echo test. Test, test, test. test. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. You are currently the only person in. And I've set the invite URL to another person, and I can see Josh coming in. Okay, so now we're in a session, and let's just do an upload of a slide. I have here a BigBlueButton overview, and now we can use BigBlueButton. We can collaborate, we can chat back and forth, we can share webcam, share desktop, and I'm going to do record this. So let's say I'll start the recording, and I'll say, hey, Josh. And let's say we wanted to collaborate this together. And I'm going to turn on multi-user whiteboard. And we can both draw on the whiteboard at the same time. So different capabilities. And I can see Josh, Josh drawing over here as well. Cool. All right. So let's say, nice. Let's say the meeting is done. Uh, I can stop recording. But in this case, I can actually cancel everything by just saying yes and end the meeting. And we're done. So that was just using the homeroom URL, copying it, sending it to somebody, going into a meeting. The recordings below are the past meetings that I did. I can see each recording, and if I want to view it, I can see there are two recording formats here. So very easily, if I wanted to view the presentation format, I can just click on it and immediately will view it. Hi, this is Fred. Okay, I'll close that. If I go back over and look at what the other user sees, they will see any public recordings that I've made. So those two recordings are public, and they will see them. If I were to modify one of these so it's unlisted it means i can still access it but now if i go back and refresh any user that has that url it's the same url that we used to invite they can see the recordings they can only see the one recording now that's still listed i can also delete a recording as well so if i wanted to delete a recording uh, i can delete it and it's now gone and i can also share a recording link with someone as well so i can take here email the recording link and it will start up my email client and compose a message that says, hey, Fred's sharing you a, a recording, and there's a direct link to the recording. Cool. You also have the ability to create subrooms. So up here, I can do create a room. I can say new room. And this will be a separate room with a separate URL that has its own recordings as well. And you can see this if I click back and forth between my main room and the new room. But it allows you to have sort of separate rooms that you can use to collaborate with others. And you can see and manage the recordings underneath. There's a couple options I have, too. If I go under Settings, I can change my name, my email address. Here I use Google to the OAuth. And there's the URL for my icon. There's also some things that we'll add in the future to design. But there'll be a menu here with perhaps some choices, such as changing the background. I can go back to the main room by just clicking on the icon in the upper left-hand corner. If I need help, I can go to the help page. And then I'm done. I can just log out. And that's it. That's an overview of Greenlight, a personalized room that you can use anytime to invite users in, share and collaborate, have recordings, and manage your recordings afterwards.